Today we're working on a Chevy truck. We're gonna replace this today. How fun. I should have wore my knee pads today. Yes, this is a work truck. He runs it off-road. Not because it's off-road and fun, because it's work site fun. All right, I got the oil filter off. We're draining some coolant right now. Put a little bit of tune-up grease on the drain plug for the radiator before I stick it back in there so that it will uh, go in nicely. The O-ring will see without squeaking. All right, we're look at, looking at it from the back side underneath. One quart out of the ratchet handle. Okay, two quarts. Let's see if I can get the sign on these. Start leaking cooling on me now. So my wrench on this bolt is hitting this other bolt here, and so it got to the point where I couldn't take my wrench off. So I had to put this, I had to put this uh, bolt back in some so that I could get my wrench off of there. That's pretty tight in there. Thanks, Jeffy. And then there's this one. You can't get a socket on it because because they bent the wire hanger around it, and uh, that looks like that's the factory bend because it's still really nice and clean. So. I want to put a socket on that or a wrench. I'm gonna have to bend this wire hanger up here a little bit. Okay, the wrench is on it. Double wrenched. All right, let's see if I can get these top two bolts. All right, now for the bottom center. All right, I'll undo the water bolts right there. Those guys, one there and one down around the other side of this over here that you can't see right now. Somebody wrapped a wiring harness around this bolt here. That's so weird, why would you do that? We're gonna have to take this charge pipe out so I can get to the uh, water pipe bolts. 11 millimeters. Loosen that just a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Really tiny, <sighs> Does that look like flying to you? Oh, is that? I don't know. I have no idea what it is. It's a bright spot. Zooming out. Let's finish taking off the top of this air charge pipe. Now we can get in here better. We can undo these two bolts that hold, or the two nuts that hold this water pipe in that goes to the front side of the oil cooler. Here we go. There, I got the wrench on. Now I need to get this crowbar to hold it on. Please stay. Ah. Well, it's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. Now we're dripping. Bolts are out. Let's see what happens when I pull on it. I'm taking out one more bolt. Got this bolt. Maybe. What was that? Oh, a gasket came out. <laughs> wow, that was tight. You had to have it just the right way to, to get that out of there. Well, now this pipe is off, hopefully I can twist it and have it come out if I can put any leverage on it. Nope. Well, that's kind of stuck in there. Kind of wiggles, but it doesn't twist. So if this is a pipe, does that mean I can use a pipe wrench on it to twist it? <sighs> Don't think one make of car is harder to work on than another. I mean... Yeah, Ford does some dumb things, but Chevy, yeah, this this is, yeah, real nice. <sighs> right, I'm just going to work this pipe off camera. Just wiggling it around, I was able to get it dropped down and come back a little bit. I think I can get it out of here now.
backwards on a pipe wrench. We'll need an O-ring. All right, I'm cleaning up this part of it. Let's pull this old gasket off of here. You can tell it's been leaking. You see, see all that along there. Rubber's all hard. I think there's a groove in here that it sits in. Pretty tight in there. There we go. Started it. Oh yeah. It's like glued in or something. All right, I'll have to clean that out now. Next, I need to clean up the gasket mating surfaces. There's one for the water pump. No, I mean the, the water pipe right there. And there's the other end of the water right there. All right, I just took a piece of Scotch-Brite and WD-40, cleaned up the mating surfaces where the oil pump, or sorry, the oil, yeah, the, where the oil filter goes and where the coolant passages are. There's the coolant, where the coolant goes. I just took the Scotch-Brite and shined that up. Little Scotch Bright and WD 40, and I got that water outlet right there shined up or water connection. Starting at the front end of this water connection, we have this gasket, and then we have this O ring that goes here, and then we've got the uh, oil cooler here, and we've got this gasket that goes in between there, and then this final rubber gasket goes against the engine on this side of this this part right here that's not bolted in tight. Let's clean up the end of this water pipe with some Scotch-Brite and WD-40. All right, I'm gonna put this gasket on here. Let's lubricate this gasket, or the O-ring. Add some lube around the edge of this. Inside of this. That should assemble pretty easily. There we go, perfect. A little more uh, Scotch Brite and WD 40 on this. Cleaned up both sides of this. This gasket goes between there and the block. It's ready. And this gasket goes between here and here. I'm not going to tighten that all the way down because I might have to loosen that up just to get the thing in there. And this gasket goes right here. I'll lubricate these O-rings before installing it. I've decided I'm going to put this in without the end piece on there. Since the pipe is easy to install, I'll get this most of the way up there and then put the pipe in. Maybe now's a good time to plug the pipe in. Okay, I got the front end of the pipe loosely installed with two nuts loosely attached. I have no easy way of getting this in there. You're just gonna have to watch me struggle. Oh cool, the o-ring seated. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's too far in the pipe. So, see the O-ring? Slide this this way out of the pipe a little bit. Okay, about right there. And it's there, it won't fall out now. All right, I think I'll take this bolt out that I just put in to try and get this thing installed. Keep checking the gasket, making sure it's still there. All right. Uh, they sure don't give you any extra room in here, do they? Okay, that's kind of in there. Take my glove off, make sure this gasket's still in the right spot. No, it's not. So I gotta pull it out and put the gasket back on and then put it back in. Let's try this again. Now for this gasket on the other side. Slide that right in the middle there. One bolt in to hold the gasket. Got the gasket in between these two. And if I bring this up like this. There we go, now we can seat the O-ring. Let's see if this will work. Maybe not yet, but... Can we put this bolt in? Okay, that bolt has started. Okay, that gasket's still in place. Cool the O-rings in. I'll stick this bolt in to hold it in place. Oh, I definitely need an extension on that. Can't touch that. 
Oh, there goes that nut. Somehow I gotta get that one in there. Not tightening anything down yet, just getting it fairly flush. This ratchet wrench is too big. Maybe I can get it with my, my 12 point. Yep, 12 point, I'll get it in. One twelfth of a turn at a time. Just starting them all off very gently. Give me my wrench back. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, if that would have bound down the tighter it got, that would have been just stuck. Because it can't go back and forth because it'll just keep tightening it. So the oil cooler mount or mounting bolts are supposed to be torqued down to 18 foot pounds and the adapter studs are 89 inch pounds. I'm going to start out by doing the oil cooler to 89 inch pounds and then I'll go up to the full torque spec after I get every, all of these evenly tightened first. All right, I'm cranking this little guy all the way up to the maximum. This is uh, 200 inch pounds on this little quarter drive torque wrench. 18 foot pounds is 216 inch pounds. So this will be real close to spec, probably within spec, but not the exact target. Click sounds different without that long extension on it. I have no choice but to put a U-joint on this last one for the torque. Since this corner piece is, a, is tricky, I'm not going to tighten either side all the way to spec first. I'm going to go a little bit on each side, alternating back and forth, because if you tighten the bottom one down, then it won't slide over to meet this one. If you tighten the side ones in, then it won't slide down to meet that bottom face. So evenly, a uh, little bit of time on all of them, just gradually torquing them all. So on this gasket between here and here it's a crush gasket so I was just tighten it a little bit but not all the way once you tighten it to crush point you don't want to loosen it again there's no way I could get a torque wrench on that one so I just torqued these two to the same feel of tightness sorry for all you perfectionists out there looks like I have a leak coming out of the, where this pipe goes into the oil cooler right about there where the o-ring goes in here, I'll put some pressurized air in, in, in there and show you. Time to unbolt those. Those are external torques, so we'll take those studs out too and pull that pipe off. Let's see if this works. Looks like these are size E8 on the studs. You know what's cool? My quarter inch socket handle fits right in the end of a half inch socket extension. Nice. The studs are out. Well, is it possible to pull this out? Uh, it does not look like it. That's gonna really bend the pipe to try to push it past that. Well, I don't know how I did it, but there's a crease there and a slice there, so it must have got caught somewhere going in and sliced that. So if you're gonna do this job, order a couple of these and a couple of those. All right, this is why the, the new O-ring was sliced. See inside of here, there's this sharp edge right here and right here. And those two sharp edges line up exactly with the, this slice in the O-ring right here and that slice right there. So what happened was I got the end in right here and then I tilted it and the O-ring got just cut by those two right down inside there. So I gotta be a little more careful uh, mounting this O-ring or mounting the pipe the second time. This time I'm only seating it just barely into there and not all the way down before I install it. New oil filter is in and we're filling up the oil. All right, we got the oil and coolant filled back up. No leaks. I pressure tested the cooling system, it's good. Starts up and runs, we're done.